Hey everyone, this is Dylan here, and today I'm gonna to go over how to culture. So I would say there's three main steps when it comes to culturing. Uh, the first one is going to be your specimen or sample, and uh, you know what exactly are you looking for. So if your specimen is urine, that's pretty straightforward. How are you gonna collect that? Um, you know, just collect it aseptically in a sterile cup. That's what we do in the, in the lab here. Uh, if it's like a sputum, then the same type of thing. Um, or if it's like a tissue that's collected uh, surgically, then it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and then something like a wound, for example, or anything else that requires a swab, uh, you know, you have to use a particular type of swab to collect that. Uh, we have something called an e-swab made by a particular manufacturer. And uh, we have to use that if you want to isolate anaerobic bacteria as well, for example. Other swabs may not be suitable for anaerobic uh, culture. Um, and then, you know, that first step relates to, you know, what you're looking for. Uh, so in particular specimens, you're going to be looking for particular bugs. For example, in urine, it'll be E. coli, for example. Uh, in respiratory specimen, it may be, you know, Klebsiella pneumoniae or Strep pneumoniae. And that relates to uh, step two, which is going to be your plates. So particular plates are selective and differential for particular bugs. So for example, your McConkie plate will be for your gram negatives, or rose plate for your gram positives, and blood uh, will pick up both of those. Um, so yeah, the plates you choose will be dependent on your specimen. So that's kind of the first two steps, your specimen and what you're looking for. And that relates to the plates you choose for the particular uh, uh, site of collection. And then lastly, you're going to have the uh, incubation times and conditions. So, you know, for a particular organisms, they're going to need to have certain CO2 to, um, concentrations, certain temperatures, certain incubation times. And uh, generally, uh, when someone requests a uh, culture in the lab, basically that's synonymous with just bacteria, you know. Uh, just asking for a bacterial culture. So that's just one aspect, you know. That's your standard culture, that's going to be your standard plates. But there's a lot more to culturing than just that. So for example, as I've re referenced, uh, if you're looking for anaerobic bugs, you're going to have to make a, a separate requisition or request for an anaerobic culture. And as I said, you know, that'll have to be collected a certain way, number one. It'll have to be a particular site, you know. Uh, number two, you know, you can't do anaerobic culture from an open, you know, skin site. It'll have to be something that's actually in anaerobic conditions, for example, an abscess. Um, and then you have to use particular plates for that as well, uh, anaerobic plates, which would be like your CDC plate and a KV plate. And then uh, other types of specific cultures would be like a fungal culture. You know, you can't just <laughs> you can't just get uh, molds or yeast on a regular culture. Generally, you know, if it's a fast-growing uh, a mold, it will show up. If it's a yeast, it will show up. But that's not the proper way to do a fungal culture if you are suspecting fungal um, in, that, uh, in that specimen. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to do a particular fungal culture which has its own plates, has its own incubation temperature of 30 degrees, for example, and um, it, we do that for four weeks. And a regular bacterial culture is generally just for a few days. And then like something else you could request would be like an AFB culture. And once again, you're gonna have specific plates and conditions and incubation times for that. And uh, you know, if you're looking for particular bugs as well, we can also do that in the lab. So you can request like a Nicardia culture, same type of thing. And uh, another one's like a Legionella culture, same type of thing. You need specific plates, some specific incubation uh, temperatures and durations. And also, you know, for those samples, they're gonna be from specific sites as well. So like a Legionella one would just be, uh, you know, from like a respiratory type site. Um, generally speaking, like you want to do a legion off of a wound specimen. So I would say all those uh, three key factors tie together for how to do a culture. You know, your specimen, your sample, uh, and what you're looking for. It's like point one. Point two is your plates and what plates are you going to choose. And three is the incubation times and uh, conditions. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you know a little bit more about uh, culturing and uh, I'll see you next time.